Back at the start of March, a hacker group known as Lapsus claimed they attacked NVIDIA and made off with one terabyte of data. They then released all of that data on Friday of that week, and the public now owns NVIDIA. All of the NVIDIA drivers are open source, and the world is perfect. Except that didn't happen because they didn't release anything more than the original 20 gigabyte archive. The rest of the terabyte is completely missing. And the backlash in their public Telegram group has been absolutely phenomenal. So good, in fact, that I couldn't help but do a follow-up video to this. But the funny thing about it is even though NVIDIA is nowhere to be seen, it's not like Lapsus has been sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Recently, Samsung had a data leak, a hack, whatever you want to call it. This was a 190 gigabyte archive, and Lapsus claimed responsibility for this. This included things like the biometric algorithms for their fingerprint scanner, their bootloader source code, source code for their activation servers, and source code for their Samsung account management. They also claim to have an unreleased set of 5,000 Git repos coming out to 200 gigabytes compressed from Vodafone. They haven't said what may be inside of this, so we don't really know, but they have confirmed that their next leak is going to be Vodafone, so we'll see if that actually does happen. Also, there was recently a cybersecurity incident at Ubisoft. Ubisoft claims that no data was leaked from this, but they did issue password resets just to make sure that everything was absolutely safe. Lapsus hasn't claimed they have any data from this and haven't tried to release anything either, but they did claim responsibility. But no matter how much time passes or how many other leaks happen, the only reason anyone knows or cares at all about Lapsus is because of the supposed unreleased NVIDIA data. At this point, we don't even know if that data is actually real. So the comment sections are basically just people yelling about when part two of NVIDIA is coming out, and then the other people are basically just huffing copium, saying stop yelling about NVIDIA, it's going to come out when it comes out. But then there are the responses from Lapsus, and if you are not in this group, you are not going to believe what I'm about to say. Asking about NVIDIA in this group is a bannable offense. Why it's delayed, if it's real, any update, anything at all, if you mention the name NVIDIA, you are banned or timed out, no questions asked whatsoever. So let me just unpack that. A group that made all of its fame for performing the biggest hack on NVIDIA that we have ever seen, now does not let you ask where that data actually is. This is bringing extreme alarm bells for me. They set a date, and now all they're saying is soon. Nothing else. The best part about all of this is they are claiming that they are selling a bypass to LHR with literally zero evidence of its validity. No screenshot that can easily be faked, not even just a write-up about the percentage improvement. Just saying, we have this patch, and that is all. Anybody who gives them money for this is absolutely insane. Now, there are some explanations for the lack of NVIDIA data, but none of them are really that great. So when they claim that they stayed connected to the NVIDIA VPN and then NVIDIA connected to their system and basically destroyed all the data, that may have actually happened. And when they claim they had backups, they might not have actually had backups and that was just a bluff. Or maybe they only ever had that 20 gigabytes and saying they had a full terabyte was an absolute bluff. But they understood what the folder structure was going to be for the full terabyte so they can sort of like bluff about what might be inside those folders to make people think they actually have something. The first two options seem kind of likely, the second one way more so, but the third option, an internal dispute in the group themselves, we actually have evidence for in the form of a message from Lapsus. The delay in leaking NVIDIA has been due to one of our members begging NVIDIA for stupid amounts of money, $10 million plus. You can blame that person. As a result of this, another one of our members has decided to go rogue. This person, some contains details for his IRL friends include, and then he posted a phone number, will release the dump within 24 hours. This message was posted seven days ago and was deleted basically three minutes after it was posted. 
But posting this phone number is kind of funny because in another message, the guy who runs the Lapsus chat specifically said, we don't publish personal information from customers. So I guess you treat friends of members of your group differently to customers of massive corporations. I'm not sure why you're not consistent on that, but hey, why should I expect hackers to be consistent? Now that first leak did include some useful information. For example, NVIDIA signing certificates. So for a couple of days until those certificates were expired, malware was being signed like it was being distributed by NVIDIA. And if those didn't get expired, that would be a really serious problem. For the sketchier projects out there, they don't really care about the, uh, the legality of it. The partial DLSS source code may have been useful in some reverse engineering projects. And there was some information about potential upcoming products using NVIDIA technologies. Things like maybe a Switch Pro or a Switch 2. But maybe it's the best this leak doesn't exist. Because if NVIDIA wanted to, they could try to make the argument that Novo was somehow benefiting from the leak, somehow making use of that leak inside of their project, and try to stop Novo from existing. I don't know if NVIDIA would actually do that, but it is a possibility that could occur. With all of these major corporations being attacked, you might think they all have absolutely horrible security, which they certainly might. Or that these people are genuinely godly hackers and can break into any system on the planet. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. I wish I was joking here, but they posted a job listing in their telegram. That job listing is basically looking for insiders to feed them information. So they're looking for people who work at ISPs and telecoms like AT&T, Comcast, places like that, large software and gaming companies like Apple, Microsoft, EA, IBM, if you work at a call center or if you work at a server hosting provider. Now, if you watch a hacking show, you might think that someone who works for a hacking group, they're being threatened. But here in the real world, you come in for a job interview. Now I shouldn't need to say this, but if you want to take the full philapsis and go to prison for your entire life, working for this group and feeding them information is a very quick way to do so. Now considering this job listing and how close together all of these attacks happened, I wouldn't be surprised if they already had some insiders at places like Nvidia, Vodafone and Ubisoft. And now they're just looking to expand their roster and go after more companies. I certainly could be wrong and they might actually be godly hackers, but I'd be willing to bet on it that that's not the case. What's also unclear is whether Lapsus is actually a real group or a cover for a bunch of others, or maybe a cover for a nation state. And considering when the really big attacks started happening, that is entirely possible. What we do know is the Samsung leak and what we have seen of the Nvidia leak are absolutely real. Whether all of the other things they claim responsibility for actually are, if the Vodafone data is real, if they actually did attack Ubisoft, we don't know. All we know is they say they did. If Lapsus does release the Nvidia data, I will change my stance. But until that point happens, I'm basically convinced they don't have the data. Either they lost it or they never had it in the first place. But maybe you have a different thought on this and you are huffing immeasurable amounts of copium. But I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to me, pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.